Hi, my name is Wendy Myers. I'm a health and nutrition coach. Today I want to talk to you about deadly artificial sweeteners. There are definitely safe ones out there. My last week's blog post was about safe artificial sweeteners like stevia, xylitol, and Lakanto. These are totally safe, definitely thumbs up on those, but the ones I'm going to talk about today, you should not ever be touching. They're just not worth it when there's perfectly safe, uh, very tasty alternatives. So the deadliest ones, in my opinion, are acesulfame K, or acesulfame potassium, um, saccharin, and the worst one of all is aspartame. Then there's also sucralose. And further in the, blog, the video blog, I'll be talking about uh, the brand names so that you can easier identify them. Uh, the first one I t want to talk about is uh, aspartame. Uh, this is known by the brand names NutraSweet, uh, Equal, Spoonful, um, Equal Measure, and Candarel. And the problem with uh, aspartame is it's had over 10,000 adverse reactions reported to the FDA, and it actually accounts for over 75% of all the uh, the reports, adverse reaction reports, of all the food additives combined. So there's a lot of problems with this one, very well documented. There's 900 studies uh, documenting the uh, negative health impact of, uh, of aspartame. Most notably is brain cancer. Um, no, I'm sorry. The most notable one is migraines. Migraines and seizures. I mean, there's, there's actually a hundred side effects. There's all kinds of side effects. Nausea, muscle cramping, hallucinations, memory loss, vision loss, um, seizures. Whenever I hear of like a celebrity being hospitalized for a seizure that comes out of nowhere, I automatically think that they're drinking tons of Diet Coke um, or another product that has a lot of aspartame in it. Um, another, uh, actually, actually it is, uh, the aspartame is associated with brain cancer, I'm sorry. Um, in 1993, uh, in 1983 is when aspartame was, uh, approved for use by the FDA. And in 1984, uh, brain cancers increased by 10%. Um, they also increased in 1985, uh, more than any other kind of cancer. And, you know, the only thing that can account for this is the increase uh, in aspartame use. So unfortunately, this is um, one of the, it's not just cell phones that are causing brain cancer. It's also the, you know, very uh, high consumption of equal and NutraSweet and other artificial sweeteners like that, especially in Diet Coke. Um, so one of the next sweeteners I want to talk about is saccharin. Um, this is also known as Sweet and Low and Sugar Twin. This is also a real nasty one. Um, this is most notably uh, shown to cause bladder cancer, be a contributor to bladder cancer. Um, there's been uh, lots and lots of studies with mice and rats that show that all, all different kinds of cancers um, that saccharin causes, but most notably is the bladder cancer and urinary tract uh, cancer. Um, so definitely you want to stay away from that one. Um, the next one is acesulfame K or acesulfame potassium. The, this goes by the names uh, Sunet and Sweet One. Um, you don't really see these around that often, but it's still worth mentioning because um, it's used. Uh, it's actually used in combination with other sweeteners. They, they're combining all these deadly artificial sweeteners to get just that perfect right taste without any bitter aftertaste. So it's no, worth noting what all of these uh, all the substances are. Um, how this one is made, it's made by chlorinating sugar. Um, they take three sugar molecules, three chlorine molecules and attach it to a sugar molecule and it makes it so it does, it's not absorbed or metabolized in the body. But some of it is actually absorbed. That's what the manufacturer claims. It just comes out of your body completely, but some is absorbed, um, namely because uh, we know it affects the thyroid. Unfortunately, um, you need your thyroid to uh, to set your metabolism. It's what burns the calories when you eat it. And people with reduced thyroid function, which is a huge problem in the United States, one in five people are on thyroid medication because there's lots of things that are attacking our thyroid. One of them is this artificial sweetener in particular. Um, but when your thyroid isn't working so well, um, you aren't burning as many calories, you have a lower body temperature, and that can cause you to gain weight. And so that's kind of indirectly causes you to gain weight by consuming this artificial sweetener. So just because something doesn't have calories doesn't mean it's not going to cause you to gain weight. 
Um, so definitely one to avoid. Um, also chlorinated sugar. Um, it's also called, uh, the, the, the main substance uh, that's in the sweetener is called methylene chlorine. Um, that's also, a, it's a known carcinogen and it is in this product, acesulfame K. And that's also used to uh, decaffeinate coffees and teas. It's also used as a pain stripper. So that's lovely to put that in your coffee in the morning and maybe, you know, strip some paint off the inside of your body. Um, so definitely want to avoid this one. That's, you know, it's, it's not that common anyways, so it's worth mentioning that. Uh, the next one is called sucralose. Uh, that's also known as Splenda. It's a very popular one. I just drank, a, I ate a ton of it when I was pregnant with my child and my child now has some developmental delays. I'm hoping that's not a contributor because at the time this was the, the new safe sweetener. It was a better um, alternative to equal and NutraSweet. So I thought I was making the healthier choice, but unfortunately it was not. Um, this one is shown, there's a lot of uh, groups out there, like the, the Center for the Public Interest and, and other groups that think this one is okay, it's, it's safe, but there really haven't been a lot of studies done on it. Um, there was only two studies done prior to the FDA's approval of it, and that was only done with 36 subjects. Um, and that actually wasn't even to determine its safety, it was actually just to see if it um, had any in indication for the health of your tooth enamel. Um, so there really hasn't been a lot of studies. Uh, a more recent study in 2012 in Italy noted that uh, mice, uh, you know, developed leukemia. Uh, while uh, you know consuming sucralose, um, but other studies um, have not shown it to cause cancer. Um, but you know this is a very recent study in 2012, so new studies have to be done to replicate those findings, you know, in order for us to know for sure if that's the case. Um, but for me, I'm not willing to gamble with my health, and so I, I say this would, should be on the thumbs down list. And that uh, if there's so many other safe artificial sweeteners out there like stevia, Lakanto, and xylitol, just use those. Just be smart. Um, um, another problem with the sucralose is that it can shrink your thymus, and your thymus is a very important in regulating and modulating your immune system. So you don't want to be messing with that. Um, it also also can cause some other health problems. And sadly, a lot of people use uh, the artificial sweeteners to try to lose weight. Um, but there have been many studies that show that people who use artificial sweeteners, actually, it causes a reduction in your blood sugar. And that reduction in your blood sugar actually makes you eat more food and in turn makes you gain weight. So just because something doesn't have any calories in it doesn't mean it, it doesn't cause a hormonal imbalance in your body that promotes weight gain. Um, so you have to be real careful with that. Um, the problem is you can't fill the body. What happens is when you ingest something sweet, you're, you're, it's on your tongue, and that's a signal to your body, hey, we've got some sugar coming in, we've got something sweet, and that's a state of emergency in your body. Sugar is very, very damaging to the body, so your body immediately starts releasing insulin to counteract and bring that blood sugar down. Insulin is the hormone that reduces your blood sugar to a safe level. So what happens is when that, that sugar that doesn't have any calories or no sugar gets in your body, you still have the insulin that's reducing your blood sugar, so you end up getting really low blood sugar. And so that uh, triggers hunger signals and makes you eat more. That's why studies show that people who consume a lot of diet sodas, for instance, actually consume 300 more calories a day than people who, who don't drink those diet sodas. So they, they're actually working against you. So my suggestion is, you know, stick with the safe ones, Lakanto, Xylitol, and Stevia. And I hope you've enjoyed my little lecture on the deadly artificial sweeteners. Just be smart and avoid them. Thank you so much.